Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Google has rolled out the early stable update for Chrome 136, which is going to be our next stable version, which will roll out, I would suggest, starting sometime maybe next week, Tuesday, moving into the rest of the week. And Google does roll out the early stable, as you may well know, about a week before it becomes generally available. And that's because they say they need to iron out a couple of bugs if there are any before it reaches the majority of Chrome users. Now, most, including myself, will not have received the early stable, but when it does roll out, it, the version in bold will be sitting on version 136.0.7103.48. Now, just a quick video to kind of give you my thoughts on what we can expect to see according to my observations and also the Chrome platform status. And obviously this is not a comprehensive list and is subject to change because the this release hasn't actually rolled out yet. Now, first of all, something I think we may see is the new cast button that is in preview that will be part of the customized Chrome toolbar shortcut options, which will enable you to pin the cast button to the toolbar. Now, because it hasn't rolled out yet, I'm going to head over to Canary uh, which is an early preview version of Chrome toolbar and here we get cost. So if we toggle that on we can see the cost button appears there in the toolbar. So I think that's something we could possibly see roll out with version 136 next week. Now according to the Chrome platform status there's a very important fix rolling out in this next stable version which is fixing a 20-year browser history leak where version 136 is implementing a significant privacy enhancement by partitioning the history of visited links, which basically means at the end of the day that websites can no longer detect which URLs a user has previously visited across different sites. And Google says this is achieved by a triple key partitioning system. So what this means at the end of the day is basically a website can only see which links you've visited on that specific site. Now just to break this down a little bit more, just to give you a kind of visual representation. Before partitioning, when you clicked a link, and then it would show as visited on every site displaying that link, as we can see in the example provided by Google uh, in the image provided. Now, this wasn't just a privacy concern for users, but also introduced a series of real security liabilities that could enable things like tracking, profiling, and phishing, which obviously are not good. So with this fix now, basically, um, it will ensure that a link will only appear as visited on the same site and in the same frame origin where the user previously clicked it, which eliminates the cross-site history leaks. Now, that's quite a mouthful, but... Basically, at the end of the day, we are getting better privacy and security um, with this change. And then there's also support coming for the H.265 HEVC codec, which according to Google has increased compression efficiency, basically higher quality per bitrate, which is relative to older generation codecs like VP8 and H.264 and very strong hardware support going back going back over a decade. So H.265 HEVC codec support rolling out with version 136. And in case you're wondering what WebRTC is, it stands for Web Real-Time Communication and is a free open source project that provides web browsers and mobile apps with real-time communication capabilities via simple APRs. And then here's another visual change which we haven't had in quite some time that um, should be rolling out according to the Chrome platform status is Fluent Scroll Bars. With Google saying the feature will modernize the scroll bars, both overlay and non-overlay, on Windows and Linux to fit the Windows 11 Fluent Design language. So this is only rolling out for Windows and Linux. Now if I head into my Chrome flags because obviously this is still an experimental feature before it rolls out next week. And we type in Fluent. Yeah, we can see two flags. So I'm just going to enable both of these. 
and relaunch the browser to apply that flag. And now if I head back to my very zoomed in new tab page, we can see things looking a little bit different for that scroll bar, which I actually think is a nice move in the right direction, uh, especially if you are using the browser on Windows 11, just giving it a kind of uniform user interface to match the look and feel of Windows 11. And then if we just head back into our flags, just to pop everything back to normal, just to show you how you can reverse that. If you want to test it out before 136 rolls out. And here you can see back to the standard scroll bar. So things looking a little bit different um, when that feature isn't enabled as to when it is enabled. So that's rolling out with version 136. And then over and above that, um, we will get security fixes. That will also be the weekly security fixes rolling out next week. And obviously, when version 136 does um, arrive, I'll post and let you guys know. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.